Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to mod your Spotify from looking like this to now looking like this. So, uh, you want to mod your Spotify and use Spicify uh, to do that. And um, first off, you cannot go into the Microsoft Store and get Spotify from there because it will not work. So if you have Spotify from the Microsoft Store, um, just uninstall it. What you're going to do is go on to Spotify's uh, website. I'll uh, leave a link in the description below, but um, yeah, you just go onto the download site for Spotify and you click download and um, you'll get the installer. I already have it. So just go here. You go through the setup and um, just let it install. After you do that, you're going to open it and sign in um, in your account or whatever. And um, then you're good to go with Spotify itself. Next thing you're going to do is to go into the Spicify website. I'll also leave the link for this website in the description below. And what you're going to do is click install now. Now you're going to see um, the Windows option and the Linux and Mac option here. You're just going to copy the Windows option and you're just going to click right here and click copy now you're gonna bring up your windows powershell so you're gonna type in powershell and run it as an administrator and then you're going to control v press enter and now it's going to ask you do you want to avoid the installation process to avoid any issues because um it's a script for Spotify so um, no so you're just gonna put N and click enter and you'll see installing uh, Spicify so just leave it now you're gonna it's gonna ask you um, do you want to install the Spicify marketplace and you're gonna put yes on that so you're going to put Y and I'm gonna show you why we're installing the Spicify marketplace in a bit so press Y click enter starting setup and you just leave it so your spotify should automatically open once it's finished installing and you should see um all of this like stuff staying successful and um yeah so you should be good to go so you see that mine uh opened up depending on how you have your settings i'm assuming yours is going to look like this with everything open up uh, anyways you're gonna see marketplace so you're gonna click on that and you're gonna see a bunch of themes um the basic one that everybody uses right now is dribblish these are um a few new ones um but yeah you can so i'm gonna remove this just for now just to show you how it looks so I'm just gonna reload so your spotify is gonna look basic like this but you're gonna have the marketplace you're gonna go on there and click um, Dribblish here and reload now. Now it's gonna look like this. It's gonna be green and you're gonna have like all these, um, like the linings and stuff. All you gotta do is go back to your marketplace. You look up here, you're gonna see base, um, but there's different options that you can pick from. You can pick white, dark, Dracula, Nord, um, I just go with this one and yeah, that's the marketplace for Spicify. Uh, you could find a lot of, um, helpful tools here as well. Um, this is a new one that is called Spotify, uh, no premium. So you, you can see that they take away the ads and it technically gives you, um, premium of Spicify, uh, Spotify, sorry. But, um, yeah, if you install this, though, 
you're not going to have the theme anymore. I have no idea why it overlaps, but you're not going to have the theme for uh, Spiceify. So I, I didn't use it. Um, there's also a lot of tools, like I was saying, like uh, you can fix your little taskbar here. Uh, usually it's straight. I have one installed. I'm not seeing it right now, but it makes it kind of curved. Basically, it's very simple. That's how you install um, Spiceify and mod your Spotify. Um, another thing though is whenever Spotify has a new update and the program actually updates, it's going to revert back to the normal version. Don't worry. You can just go back on the Spiceify website and copy the PowerShell uh, link and just do the process over again. It's not going to um, overload anything. Um, it'll be fine. After you do that, though, another setting that I usually um, fix in here is hardware acceleration. And I usually take that off. So you go into edit preferences and you can have your streaming quality on high. I take off you scroll all the way to the bottom and take off um, hardware enable hardware acceleration because that just uses more in your PC for absolutely no reason and you don't want it doing that. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's how you mod your Spotify and it's really simple. I hope this video was easy for you guys and um, simple enough. So thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe if you want. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.